At these meetings, we keep up to date on industry issues, training, uh, building relationships with uh, other folks in that are all sorts of parts of the industry, whether they're OEMs or equipment manufacturers or training folks, or you, you, you get to hang out with the, the top brass of the industry okay. uh, when you go to these events. Hello everybody and welcome back to the airing of grievances. I'm Eric Raymer, this is Robert Grieve, and today is a very special day. Now, it's special for a bunch of different reasons. The first reason is you're here and we're glad that you're here. If you're brand new to us and you've never seen this channel or uh, seen the videos that we put out here, uh, the airing, airing of grievances is specifically for you, the driving consumer, and not for the collision industry, but it is about the collision industry and the associated industries. We're gonna talk more about that yep. later. If it's your first time here, do us a favor, give us a big thumbs up. If it's your third time, 10th time, 27th time. We've got 20, Especially 27. We've got 27 episodes of the airing of grievances. Ooh. And if it's, it's any of those, give us the thumbs up and let us know that you appreciate the content that we put out every Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. in the Mountain Standard Time. And of course, if you're a regular here, God bless you. We're so grateful that you are here. Thank you so much for taking the time to come back and not only to watch the, the videos, but to comment. And uh, you can do that right in the, in the comment section below and to share this with the people that you care about because this information really is uh, and can be life changing. Now, we're, we're not gonna go to the life changing drama <laughs> this time. We've got a different type of video. And as you can see in the background, you might see some people moving around and, and whatnot. Normally, Making some noise. Yeah. Normally we film these uh, on a Saturday morning just after the premiere of the current week's uh, episode. But in this case, you, sir, are traveling. Yep. I got to be on the road. Yeah. So uh, with that being the case, uh, we are now filming on a Wednesday and uh, so the shop is in uh, full swing doing things uh, behind us and we hope that you can hear us all right in the midst of all of that but um, Rob I want to talk to you about where you're going what you're doing and why you're doing it but first happy Saturday to you happy Saturday to you welcome to all our friends we always appreciate you tuning in uh, it's always fun reading the comments and replying and yeah some good stuff absolutely even with the people that disagree with me you know and there are uh makes it even better there there are at least one <laughs> there is at least one who good morning to you john you. And, and you know what we, we love him and we're, we're glad that uh, you're here john so thanks for uh, for watching amen. this as well amen Keep all right doing all you can in new york city brother all right rob so tell us um where, where are you going to be when we should be filming this uh, well, I'm going to be in Cleveland for the uh, SCRS, which is Society of Collision Repair Specialists, yep. and the CIC, which is Collision Industry Conference Meetings. Okay. And why would that make any difference to you, the consumer? Well, that's a good question. Uh, there's a few different reasons why that's important to you. At these meetings, we keep up to date on industry issues, training, uh, building relationships with uh, other folks in that are all sorts of parts of the industry whether they're OEMs or equipment manufacturers or training folks or you you, you get to hang out with the, the top brass of the industry okay uh, when you go to these events and it, it gives us an edge back here at the shop because we know what's coming down the pike. We know how the cars are going to be changing. We know uh, new procedures that haven't been published yet that need to be uh, taken into consideration when when repairing vehicles. And, and that's so, not something you normally get at a body shop. So basically, the, the shop owners who are part of the SCRS uh, or who attend the CIC uh, the, the Collision Industry Conference, yep. 
those people are um, those people are really the ones that uh, are have their fingers on the pulse. They're they're better in the know of of what's yeah. going on in the industry and and how to best take care of the vehicles and the guests that come into their shops. So th this is important to you from my perspective because we always talk about how do I know where to go. Yeah. And if you're going to go to a shop that has that goes to these types of things that is part of something bigger like across the country maybe they're not uh, SARS but maybe there is a local state association. association yeah which by the way most of those local states associations are part of SCRS they're associate associations of SCRS okay, so you could be a part of an association that is a associate or a part of the SCRS right. and from SCRS is a national association so we push information down to the local associations and I help see. them with legislation and new stuff coming out and uh, so it's something I want you to look for and there's there's no reason not to ask people or ask a shop are you part of any associations uh, what do you do for training yeah you know how are you up you know to, to the to the project you know how, how much information do you have on my vehicle to take care of it properly right and uh, I think it's uh, I just think it's an important piece there's a lot of people will say when you call them and you ask are you certified in anything and everybody is going to say yeah we're certified all our techs are certified or we're certified I'm certified the whole place is buyer certified. beware we made a video about certification and it's not just a, uh, a plaque on the wall it is I'll not. put a link to that right up here uh, but yeah it, you know it's, it's quick and easy to say yeah we're certified uh, but one blanket doesn't cover all horses so you know and when they say that I would encourage you just to respond with that's awesome who are you certified with what who is certifying you who is standing behind you saying that you've got my best interest at heart right and are you part of associations and you know, in order to keep your finger on the pulse today with the, the rapid changes in the way the vehicles are being designed, whether it be by the materials that they're used to build them, or the technology that's inside of them, yeah. uh, or the sensors and cameras and LIDARs that are, are helping protect you and others, you know, pedestrian controls that are on your car that you don't even know are there. Yeah, right. Uh, you know. It's important. So for us, we're Lexus uh, authorized, which is the closest you think you can be to Lexus certified. If you were going to be Lexus certified, you'd have to be owned by the dealership. So we're not owned by a dealership, but we are Lexus authorized. And which if is I'm the not next step. mistaken, we're the only, as this is being filmed, we're the only Lexus authorized. In well, in Colorado, I think there's a couple of that have come off the pilot I and see. certified, gotcha. uh, I think, uh, across the country. Gotcha there are a couple more but in our like five state area we're the only ones yep. uh, that are Lexus authorized and and that goes to Toyota people as well there's no Toyota certified places in Colorado there's no certified Toyota or authorized Toyota repair places we are the closest thing to that and the Lexus program teaches most of the same thing as the Toyota program, only it's a little more robust. Sure. Because it's Lexus and it's a know, higher it's, end uh, market. So if you're looking to get a Toyota repaired, we're the closest thing. We have the actual Toyota equipment. Yep. Uh, and and the relationships. And the relationships. Right, which is something that you develop at these uh, events, right? Yep, yep, that's true. Um, so a lot of people. Uh, get involved in things that are important to them. Uh, they want to be part of something bigger than just themselves and their day-to-day -day routine. Sure. Some people uh, go to church on Sunday. Some people go to church several times a week. Yep. Some people uh, become deacons in the church. Sure. Uh, and they seek to get more leadership roles. Yep. Uh, you have people that uh, jump into politics and you know they could be boots on the ground they could be running for office they sure. could be uh, 
you know, a poll watcher, being part of SCRS is the bigger picture for me. Yeah. And not only am I a member of SCRS, but I'm also on the board. Yes. And I'm not only just on the board, I'm on the executive committee on, on the board. Okay. So, you know, my level of digging in to this, it, it's, it's not for me. It's so that I can bring back stuff to here and spread the word throughout the industry yeah. of, of different things that will make repair shops better and, and better for you, yeah, the you, consumer. You see one side of this uh, with these videos and the consumer videos that we've put out called the airing of grievances. You get to watch and learn from uh, somebody who's got their fingers on the pulse at the very highest levels. Uh, of not only the industry, but all the industries, the automotive industry, the insurance industry, the uh, uh, ancillary uh, parts industries and, and vendors that support the automotive All the industry. manufacturers. Yes, and, and, and because of all that, there too. that actually does help you because uh, you, if you are watching and then sharing this, these videos, you get to actually see and hear about things in real time with what's happening and what's about to happen, uh, you know, you were talking about the the technologies and the industry, you know, the the manufacturers, the way the vehicles are being made is so different. I mean, we look at the vehicles that it's we changing have changing so quickly. We look at the vehicles that are on the ground right now, and for the great, I'm not talking about uh, the Teslas or the other electric vehicles right now, but just the, the regular uh, gasoline-powered vehicles, and we lift up the hoods. And any of us who are of the age of 40 or 50 or older, uh, we look up there and we go, well, where's the space in, in, the, uh, in the engine compartment where we could actually crawl in and, Next to the engine and, and, fix it. and do our own thing, <laughs> Yeah. right? Not and anymore. It, it doesn't exist anymore. Now you add the EV, the electric vehicles that are coming down the road in a faster fashion than you can even imagine every time we turn around there's a new electric vehicle company springing up hoping for a slice of the market share that will be the future of and the future is knocking on the door yeah it's right? it's here we yeah. just haven't seen it yet it's it's days or weeks and we'll start to see some new electric vehicles on the road yeah in the markets and yep. you know is, is the shop prepared for that and you know even more importantly are they safety wise prepared for that yeah. Because these are uh, H H V high voltage vehicles. Yes, and uh, they're deadly. So, if if handled improperly, yeah, if they, handled they improperly, they could be deadly. There's procedures you need to follow. Yes, and you know we know uh, a lot of shops are allergic to pulling procedures and so on and so forth. Yeah, so. we got here as soon as we could. Uh, <laughs> if you are a shop owner or a shop employee watching this. Uh, get on board and start pulling procedures for every single car. We made a video about that as well. I'll put the link right up there. So anyway, I'm traveling and, and trying to gather more information. As a matter of fact, I'm actually on a couple of panels and doing some presentations at the SRS open meeting as well as the closed board meeting. But at the same time, I'm pulling in information. Yes. And it's, it's, it helps you the consumer because we've got the big picture yep. uh, we're not just stuck in our day to day bringing in a car fixing it shipping it out bringing in the next car ship it and yep. all the rest of that no we're genuinely focused on the industry as a whole and if you can find places and there's tons of them uh, that are not only part of an association but active in the association you know it's it's again it's like are you going to church or are you leading doing something more inside the church yeah yeah uh, and you know the same thing with politics and so many other things that people do they you know they we want to do something more than just our day-to-day -day life we yeah. want to be involved in something bigger SCRS is that for me yeah uh, and it, the trickle down is it's good for all of our employees they all are leaps and bounds educated beyond what you're going to find mostly in the industry. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Well, uh, as the one who actually takes the videos that we make here and then produces and edits them throughout the week, uh, I want to just 
kind of share a little cool thing from, from my perspective because by the time you are watching us on this video, he will be sitting right back here watching it with you on the premiere. So that's how that's all going to work. I'll be tired, but I'll be here. <laughs> <You'll> be <tired. laughs> all right, my friend. Well, thank you again for all that you do. Thanks to the SCRS and all the fine members of the SCRS. And uh, best of wishes to you as we're filming. It hasn't happened yet. The uh, board meeting and the CIC. It's coming up. Uh, out there in Ohio. And gosh, we can't wait to have you back safe and sound. I'll be here and we'll go from there. Cheers, my Happy friend. Happy Saturday, everybody. All right.